So I've come to have a cup of tea with my friend the alien from the movie Alien. Well, it's acid raining out here, pH 3, acid rain. So the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the minus 3 molar. And, he, oh, he's drinking a cup of tea. Do you mind if I take a seat there, buddy? Yeah, I think he's okay with that. So T is about pH 5 with a hydrogen ion concentration of 10 to the minus 5. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. 10 to the minus 5. Uh, I understand that my, my body, the alien, has a bit of a cold. He's allergic to something. We're not really sure. Let's ask him. It's you! Oh, man, the acid's gone everywhere. Oh, his acid is pH 1. Concentration of hydrogen ions 10 to the minus 1 molar. Oh, it's gone everywhere. It's disgusting. Oh, he got Dr. Atkinson. Let's grab him. We're going to try and dilute him. If we can get him uh, wet, then we can dilute the hydrogen ion concentration and it will be less corrosive for him. If I dilute it 10 times the acid, the pH will change by 1. If I dilute it 100 times, it will change by 2. So let's have a quick reminder of the equation. There we go. So pH 4, that's going to have a hydrogen ion concentration of 10 to the minus 4 molar. That's the relationship there. So here's an example. So what's the pH if the hydrogen ion concentration is whoa? Okay, so that's 10 to the minus 6, the pH is 6. So that's quite a straightforward conversion. In SL, you just have to do the uh, integers here. Okay, a bit more complicated. A pH 4 to a pH 6 change, what's the change in H plus? Well, it goes from 10 to the minus 4 to 10 to the minus 6 molar. So the change is that H plus is 100 times smaller now. It's changed by a factor of 100. So what's the pH of a solution with a million times more H plus ions than pH 9. Well, a million times, using this logarithmic scale, that's 10 to the 6, so it's a pH jump of 6. So I've got to make it more concentrated. So I'm going to take off 6, that gives me pH 3. 